Hey YouTube, uh, I think I owe you guys a bit of an explanation. What have I been doing lately? Why have the uploads been so inconsistent? Why is all this stuff going on? Well, I'm counting down the days till I gotta leave, and honestly, there's a lot of stuff to do. One of the biggest ones is I'm hemorrhaging money like crazy. Um, the, the freaking motorcycle, I brought it into one shop, another shop, another shop. When I finally got a shop that would even look at it, because it's old, and it's whatever, just the same kind of stuff I hear all the time. Um, they want upwards, like, three times the price of the bike itself in repairs to safety, because all these new safety regulations came in, apparently. Um, I've talked to a couple other shops, trying to get other opinions on it. All of them seem to agree that this thing needs, like, just a lot of money. And it's not that nice of a bike. It rides. I did a lot of work to myself. I, I did. I did the drivetrain. You know, the seals are done. The throttle cable. It rides so well right now, and yet I can't get it safety. So I have two options. Um, really, I can pay that amount of money, um, or I can go and try and find another motorcycle that is ready to be safetyed, that is less expensive. Um, other options I've considered, but I'm not doing. I'm not going to find some like illegitimate place to get it safetyed. Um, I have insurance. I have other things to consider. I, I don't want to risk that. Plus, um, those guys could be pretty sketchy. Don't need that in my life. Scrapping the motorcycle trip altogether, definitely that was an option, but I'm not one to give up on something once I've set my mind to it. So I'm just going to go do it and uh, hope for the best. And uh, yeah, but basically that's why I haven't been uploading videos very often because honestly, I'm working so much. I'm trying to make as much money as possible to try and like patch up all this money that I'm just hemorrhaging. Um, I'm trying now to find a place to sell my motorcycle. I'm looking at another one today. Um, and I've decided to go a different route. I'm trying to get a newer bike. I'm trying to get one that's more off-road capable, that's lighter. Um, and uh, with any luck, I'll get a nice bike. And it will be the perfect thing for going um, a lot of off-roading and a lot of on-roading, a little bit of dual sport action. So let's go take a look at this motorcycle and let's cross our fingers. I'm meeting the guy at the local sports shop. It's the one closest to where he's at. And he uh, should be here in about 20 minutes. But let's go take a look at the other Honda bikes that are here. This is a Honda dealership. One of the ones I was looking at, Honda CRF 250L. It's kind of a sim similar concept to what I'm getting. This one's a little different, but not that far off. Let me explain what I've been looking at. I'm trying to get a motorcycle that does highway speeds. I'm trying to get a motorcycle that's good off-road as well. So I'm looking for a decent dual sport. I've looked at TW 200s, XT 250s, CRF, CFR, CRF 250, 230Ls. Uh, WR250R, all of those bikes, all of them are great. Um, but my big problem is that with the repairs and the safety inspection, it needs to be $2,300. Doesn't leave a lot of windows. Now, I don't really care so much about the age and I don't really care so much about the shape. I just need it to be safety. And both of those things affect the safety. And in fact, it's a lot cheaper to own a newer motorcycle now than an older one because of how crazy the safety inspection uh, regulations are. Now, this bike is advertised at two grand. If it doesn't need that much work, if it doesn't need any work, it's $2,060. So I have an extra $240. Basically, that's what I have, $240 to repair this thing. Hopefully, it doesn't need many repairs. $240 does not get you far. Anyway, that's the most optimistic point of view of this situation. In reality, it would probably be hemorrhaging more money than that anyway. And then, well, I've always figured it out in the past and I'll just have to figure it out as I go now, you know? This particular motorcycle is the Super Sherpa 250. Um, average price across Ontario right now is about $2,500 for that. I found this one up for $2,000. Guy seems very confident it'll pass safety without anything. Maybe he's feeling optimistic. Maybe he knows what he's talking about. We're about to find out. There it is. That is awesome. Uh, I'll probably get a license if I'm riding in here, eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, I had it safety uh, a couple months ago. No, it didn't pass safety. Yeah. Uh, 
front fork seals, as you can see, there's a lot of oil residue. Yeah. They've been leaking for a while. They failed safety. Okay. The oil has been leaking down onto the front brakes. Um, it has contaminated the pads. The pads do pass safety, but recommend replacing them if okay. you were to buy it. This shield, the bolt's missing. Yep. Anything that you can catch your leg on or anything has to be um, secured, so we need yep. a new bolt for that. Chain and sprockets need to be replaced. Um, okay. And their engine oil, as you can see, it is leaking oil. Uh, that's from the drain bolt. Okay, so okay. it's just a matter of fixing yeah, the drain so bolt. Maybe okay. just regretting the oil pan. There could be up in here, the front sprocket. Uh, yeah. There is quite a bit of oil up in there. It could be the sprocket seal is leaking, but you wouldn't know until you tear the chain sprocket off. Okay. It could also just be from the drain bolt and oil getting up in there. So you, once it was all torn apart, you have to look at it and see if that seal needs to be replaced. Okay, gotcha. Um, chain and sprockets, fork seals, uh, the drain bolt's not that bad, and the throttle doesn't release back. So it stays Sticking. there. Sticking? Okay. Probably just needs to be cleaned up. Just a little cleaning? Okay. But um, you're probably looking at with the fork seals, it's like two and a half hours labor, probably $70, $80 in parts. So probably 400 bucks or so for that. Chain and sprockets, probably like another like 400 bucks. You're probably looking at about $1,000 parts of labor. Oof. So Jeez. It's, uh, yeah. Well, it seems kind of pricey for the fork like, seals and stuff. The fork seal is just two and a half hours labor. Most of the time, fluids. The seals themselves are usually anywhere from 24 to 48 bucks a piece. Yeah. Um, but it's just, a, it's just a labor to do it. Okay. Taking the forks off, tearing the forks completely apart, putting the seals back in. Um, yeah, I, I just did that in my last motorcycle, yeah. the chain sprockets. So most of the stuff, you might even that. be able to do it yourself if you're going to buy it. Yeah. It's, it's mostly all labor. Chain sprockets, probably a few hundred bucks. Yeah. Fork seals, maybe like $70, $80 in parts. Okay. If you want to do the labor yourself, you have 10 days before you have to pay for another safety. This is, like, you pay for this today, oh. and you have 10 days to fix it. 10 days, that's it? Yeah. Crap. <laughs> How the hell do I get parts in 10 days? Uh, most of the stuff should be readily available within you'd, a day or two. You'd think that, but like I go and order stuff online, they lose it. And it takes three weeks, four really? weeks to get here. Every time I've ordered motorcycle parts from any distributor, I've gone to every fucking website out there. I, it's I always, they always lose to, shit. Uh, you can talk to Toby in our parts department to see yeah. if, what he can get for it. It might be something we can get. Most like aftermarket stuff that we can get from like Motovan or Parts Canada. We yeah. get within a day or two. So. Okay. Yeah, I'll see what the price is on that. We're going to fork seals, chain, and both sprockets, as well as a couple of small little bolt repairs. But uh, the shop here wants a grand uh, to fix those things, which is obviously way out of my price range. But maybe with just the parts and I do the labor, that might be in my price range. So we're going to find out. Made up here in a few moments. I'm just gonna head back over. There's a windshield. This is, this is awesome. You put this underneath nice. and pick it up, and that's it. <laughs> that's kind of cool. And that uh, that's a stand to uh, to work on. It's good. All right. Thanks, Michelle. Okay. Take care. Enjoy. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. See you on YouTube. <laughs> this guy's a huge fan of my camper van. <laughs> you gonna get a camper van? You want a smaller one or a bigger one? What do you think? One with easier doors to close, maybe?
motorcycle repairs are finally done. I now have to cram my life from this van into a backpack to fit onto this motorcycle. And I still haven't got a license plate. Oh, by the way, I leave tomorrow. If you're wondering why I haven't been posting very many episodes, this kind of stress, this right here. I've got 10,000 wedding photos to edit still, and I'm editing them before I get to another episode of the vlog. So sorry about the delay, but it's the reality of, of uh, working full time and trying to do YouTube videos. Now the work done here, I, I got a new uh, rear sprocket, new front sprocket, new chain with O-rings, which I didn't know what O-rings are. They're these little rubber rings that sit in between the links. See right here? They sit right there in between the links. Isn't that crazy? Anyway, apparently they extend the life of the chain by a great deal. I installed this little uh, windshield, which I got secondhand with the bike. You know, just so it looks a bit more like an adventure bike. And we got a brand new fork seals and fork oil in here. Nice and clean, as you can see. Which, uh, you know, really makes a big difference, actually, as to how the suspension performs. Actually having oil in there is nice. Anyway, I gotta go pack now, so good luck.